Viewers often ask me which video editing software I use and what would I recommend for anyone on a budget. Well, I started out with Sony Vegas video editing software and when Sony ditched it, the brand became Vegas Creative Software. I kept upgrading and now I'm with Vegas Pro 15 <laughs> and in my opinion, it's pretty crappy software. Sure, it's cheap, but it's always been quite clunky, slow in rendering, and while each edition slowly gets better, they always seem to be dragging their feet and playing catch up with the competition. My biggest gripe is the software is unstable. If you Google around, you'll find people have issues with any software, but Vegas appears to be far more unstable than most, and forums are littered with posts where everyone is trying to get the issues sorted. I have had these issues too. I have just reinstalled Vegas Pro 15 on a brand new, very fast laptop, and it's still crashing around five to 10 minutes into video editing. So annoying. Many users have to resort to the old version 13, which at least was reasonably stable. But what about all those glowing reviews about Vegas software? Well, unfortunately, most reviewers give positive reviews in exchange for cash or getting free copies of the software. Or they simply aren't serious about researching the problems. Why am I still using it? Uh, unfortunately, I have three years of editing work all using this software and it would create massive problems changing over now. But every time the program crashes, <laughs> I'm so tempted. What would I recommend for budget software? Look, I don't really know enough to give firm recommendations, but I do know friends of mine use PowerDirector by Cyberlink. It's around the same cost as Vegas, but far more stable, renders faster, and has an intuitive interface. It should be worth looking at. It could also be worth looking at some of the freebie programs like HitFilm Express and OpenShot. Quite a few of these are open source software that provide almost the same level of features as the professional stuff. I just wish I'd checked these out before running with Sony four years ago. Sigh.